Mm. That is so good. <laughs> This morning, we're leaving our apartment here in Rejecta Bleche and we're heading to Cosice. To get there, we have to first get the same train back to Zelina and then get another train. And I'm really looking forward to the first train ride because it was really scenic on the way here. It was really pretty, wasn't it? Mm. Cool. We've got about half an hour till our coach leaves. Coach? Train? train? <laughs> Izzy does all the planning. We've got about half an hour until our train, so we need to get going. We've got like a few minutes till our train, but we can't find a board anywhere. There's no like timetable or anything, so we're just gonna hope the train turns up and then I guess we'll get on it. So we've arrived in Zelina. Unfortunately, our train here was delayed by about half an hour. So we don't have any time to go get any food. We need to go try and find the platform our train leaves on. So that's where we're going now. I'm literally booking our Airbnb, like as we get off the train. <laughs> we managed to find the right train in time. And now we've got about a three and a half hour train ride to Casiche. After four hours on the train, we finally arrived in Casiche. We now need to find our apartment. Hostel. Hostel. <laughs> we couldn't afford an apartment here. <laughs> we don't want you to think that we're snobby about staying in hostels. It's just that as we're a couple and we do a lot of editing whilst we travel, if a private apartment is a similar price to a private room in a hostel, that's where we prefer to stay. We're both really tired and hungry after our long train journeys and not having had a chance to eat anything today. I've not actually eaten anything today. And it's like, what, like seven o'clock? I had some Cocoa Pops for breakfast, but that's about it. <laughs> we need some food. Yeah. <laughs> so, speaking of which, we're gonna head out to a restaurant which apparently does really good traditional Slovakian food. But first, we're going to give you a quick tour around our hostel because it's really cool and really quite quirky. This is our bedroom. It kind of reminds me of a train tunnel because it's got this really like cavernous ceiling, but it's a big size. It's got technically three beds and some really quirky art <laughs> and a menu on the ceiling <laughs> just in case we feel like ordering some food from bed. And this is the common area. Again, it's pretty quirky. You've got an old school locker, a suitcase you can buy for 20 euros, and again, lots of quirky art. We interrupt this hostel tour to show you the lovely welcome drink the owner just gave us. It's red wine, it's really nice, and it's definitely a bad idea because, like I said, I've not eaten today, so. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> now I have my wine, let's continue with the tour. So this is the kitchen slash bar slash coffee making area which are all good things seriously though there are so many different teas and coffees and bottles of wine you can buy and it's really cheap cheers to that now as standard for a hostel it's a shared bathroom here they're really clean we're not going to show you them but we are going to show you our favorite place outside it's just a really cool common area 
I think it would be a great place to hang out and meet people while you're traveling. And there's loads of plants growing out of a boat. <laughs> They cook a lot of vegan food here, so I think that a lot of the plants probably end up in the food. We really couldn't manage the wine on an empty stomach, so we left it in our room for later. And now we're finally going out for food. <gasps> food. <laughs> Google Translate works pretty well, but it doesn't seem to be working here. If we translate it, some of the food from the Slovak, it tells me that we're getting homemade eyelashes. And then when we do detect language, it does Latvian, Bosnian and Croatian, so I don't know. We don't know where any of the food is. I guess we're just gonna point and pick. Uh, one. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I've ordered because of the language barrier, but it looks like dumplings, so at least Izzy will be happy. <laughs> I am so happy. I've got, I guess, the... Where are we? Slovakia? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess I've got like the Slovakian version of pierogi, which I'm not complaining about. Mm. Crispy bacon bits. I'm just going to give them a quick taste test because you've seen me eat a lot of dumplings. Mm. And they're filled with cheese. My kind of dumpling. They're really good. I got the same thing you saw me eating the other night, which is potato dumplings. Just like Izzy's, I've got it topped with bacon, spring onion, and a cream cheese sauce. Mm. Don't know whether it's just because I'm absolutely starving, but that is really good. After a lovely meal, we're just heading back to our hostel and going to bed. We're pretty tired. So, we're going to end the vlog here. Tomorrow, we're spending the entire day exploring Casiche, and from what we've seen so far, it looks pretty cool. <laughs> that's not a fridge, that's a glass of wine, <laughs> which I'm now taking away from you. <laughs> yeah, do you want to be on camera? Well, they just, oh. just doesn't care about us, does it? Yeah. It's just not interested in us.